Hey guys, this is the second video where I'm going to just do the outside of the house and take you inside. There was a previous video where I did take you inside the detached garage, which has plenty of room for an office. They have an office set up in there. I believe there's 10 foot ceilings. It is finished. Check out my previous video. There's also a full bath in there as well. Could make a great apartment. So we're at the outside of 1420, I'm sorry, 1520 Chestnut Hill Drive. And this is looks over the city of Ashland. You are up here on the knob on 1.75 acres. This beautiful craftsman style home has tons of original woodwork throughout. They've put this big huge addition on and it's awesome. It's a you can see out basically everything from Oakview Road area right here coming down 13th to midtown cinema area and if you're sitting on your porch you can see the uh the bridges straight there across as you see the old ashland oil building you can see everything from out here this home has a 300 i'm sorry 3965 square feet a tons of parking outside it has five bedrooms three full bathrooms and two half bathrooms Great place to entertain under here. You could also even uh, enclose that if you really wanted and make that an attached garage. So here is a quick view of the backyard. Once again, that is Midtown. The old Ashnoa building, the two bridges there. Community Trust Bank building. There's a parking garage there. The AEP buildings there. You can see just about everything from up here. Can you imagine sitting out here and having a cookout? And in, at nighttime, this would be fabulous because you would have thousands of lights that you can see, I'm sure. So here's your quick view of the back side of the home. It is a huge home. There is tons of space. I believe there's maybe 14 rooms in here. Um, so let's take a look inside. Once again, we're at 1520 Chestnut Hill Drive, sitting on 1.75 acres. Asking price of this home is 399,500. It has 3,965 square feet with five bedrooms, three full bathrooms, and two half bathrooms. So when you open the door, Got a great place to walk in and toss your shoes and your jacket. And you come into the kitchen. Very, very nice kitchen, beautiful kitchen. Lots of original woodwork. If you'll notice, they've got crown molding pretty much throughout. Of course, all the appliances stay as well. Here's a quick view from this side of the kitchen. And there is a butler's pantry right off the kitchen. There is also, wait just a second here, a nice size pantry in here as well. Tons of room in there. Great place, uh, as far as the kitchen, it's very full of natural light. You can send there and wash dishes and you're looking out pretty much every way you go. So. Here is your butler's pantry. It's on both sides as we enter into the formal dining room. Those are built in, probably original hutches. Big, beautiful dining room that has built in hutches on both corners. As you can see, they're using it for a music room. These are original hardwood floors. Here's you a quick view of the dining room. There are French doors on here, so you can close it off if you'd like. We're actually at the front door entry foyer. So it, the front of the house, uh, which you really can't see when you pull up, this is technically the entry foyer, although you really wouldn't probably have anybody coming in that direction. Most people would pull up in the driveway and come right into that door where we came into the kitchen. Big, beautiful entry foyer. I think this is like uh, 30 feet long and I believe it's eight foot wide, original hardwood floors. 
That is an original grate, uh, which is a big return for the furnace, for the heat and air. So here you have their family room uh, where they hang out at all the time. There is ventless logs in there. Built-in bookshelves off the family room. There is a sunroom that they've also had enclosed in. So looks like that's where the, the, the grandkids probably play. And there's a door off this area as well. Here's your quick view from this angle of the family room. Nice big family room. French doors that lead off to the office. We'll go over there in a minute. So back into the entry foyer. And coming through here, I've got this one central area right here. You could make an office. You could make it anything. It's just a, it's probably an eight by nine room area. Let me say, uh, I don't know what to call it, honestly. Another foyer area. Okay, off of that area, which is directly off the kitchen, you also have what they're using as kind of an informal dining space. I personally think this would make a fantastic family room so you could actually have the beautiful view of looking out over the city. As you can see back there at the backyard, you can have a beautiful view looking over the city. They've put in a big spiral staircase up to that addition, but you can also, of course, get up there through the main staircase. But this is a quick, uh, quick, if you want to come from the kitchen with some goodies and you're going up to maybe hang out in the big family room upstairs, that'd be a quick place. Really neat staircase. So here is that area I was trying to describe and really just honestly couldn't put a name on it. It's just another foyer. You could do a lot of things with it. And like I said, as you can see, they're using it kind of as an informal dining room, but you have a big formal dining room, so you really could use this for anything. So there is also a half bath on this level right here, and that leads down to the basement. So coming back into the formal, I'm sorry, to the foyer, we're gonna go up this staircase. Hello. Okay, so right there is that big, beautiful room. This room is to die for. Full of natural light, full of windows. There is also a full bath here off this room. And that full bath even has a door over to another bedroom, but you could easily close that off and make this just a full bath for this one room. Updated, everything's new in here. So coming back out to go into this big, beautiful, great room. They've got recess lighting, track lighting on these big, beautiful beams. This is all real hardwood floors. As you can see, they have their big, beautiful Christmas tree up there. Here's another view. So you could entertain up here. Wow, this would be wonderful. This would also make a great master bedroom. I was thinking about that earlier, that uh, here's looking down over 13th Street. You can see the cars going up. There's Oakview Road area. There's a fire pit they've got down here as well. So this would make, a, to me, a great master bedroom. It's huge. You've got a door over there. You can shut it off. You've also got the full bath off of here. Uh, if you like to have a dark room to sleep in, obviously this would not be the room that you would want to make your bedroom. So I'm going to take you back outside on the deck that overlooks the backyard. This is only accessible from up here, from the family room. So you can come out here and hang out. If you're entertaining in this big, great room, again, fabulous view. Everything from the park area which is right down here because there's the AEP building all the way around uh, Community Trust Bank building, the bridges, Ashton Doyle building, Midtown area. Great area, beautiful. 
And really, even though it's 1.75 acres, there's actually not a lot to maintain. Nearly every bit of this land is flat that you would actually maintain. The rest of it just, as you can see, just kind of goes over the hill and it's not something that you would maintain. So coming back into the, this big family room slash maybe possible master bedroom for some people. I'm gonna take you over and show you the other bedrooms. There's four other bedrooms over here. This was where the addition was put on here. And that step there is what I'm referring to where there was a room, just one single little room here and then they put the addition on. So we're into this really big foyer area for all the bedrooms. Got a nice big bedroom. They're all nice big size bedrooms. They've got a built-in bookshelf where he's got his uh, footballs up there. This bedroom actually has a half bath. Another look at the bedroom. And then we'll just go right down here. And they've got beautiful built-ins right here. I love the character of all the built-ins in these old homes. So here is what they use as their master bedroom. It is huge, lots of floor space. They do not have a bath in here, uh, but they're using this as their master. But if it was me, I'd probably use not if not only the big room as my master, but if I wanted to use that as a family room, I'd probably use this as my master because this one is a nice big room also. And this one actually has the access to that full bath that we were just at in the family room area. See there? So, another quick glimpse at this bedroom. And let's go over here to look at bedroom number five. Again, these are all hard, original hardwood floors. These people have totally painted everything from head to toe. Wonderful maintenance of the home. Left some of the character of it. We're not sure if this is an original sink or not. It is in spectacular brand new condition if it's not. Shower right here. And just another glance of this hall foyer area. Once again, I'm at 1520 Chestnut Hill Drive. It overlooks the whole, I'm turning off lights as I speak. Uh, it overlooks the whole city, pretty much all of downtown. You're up here on the knob all by yourself. You, it is private, yet you are still close to everything. We will go down the uh, spiral staircase. I'll exit that way so you can get an idea going down that. Let me shut these lights off for them. Back into this big family room area. If you'd like to take a look at this home, here's your spiral staircase in person. I'd be happy to show it to you. Just give me a call or text me or message me. My number is 606-232-1067. Cindy Conley Jones with Remax Real Team Realty. Hey, five bedrooms, three full bathrooms, two half bathrooms, 3,965 square feet. I'm sorry, 3,965 square feet. There is a large two car detached garage that has a wonderful office in it with I believe 10 or 11 foot ceilings. You could actually make that a second living space. There's a full bathroom in there as well. The garage, a video of the interior of the garage is also on my Facebook as well. If you'd like to take a look again in person, I'd love to show it to you. Thanks a bunch for joining.